Well, looking at memory cards, here's one of the first static memory cards for the Mitz Altair. This card contains 1,000 bytes, 1,000 8-bit words, 1,000 bytes. It's contained in these eight chips right here. Each chip is 4-bit word, 256 words, so two chips makes the 8-bit word. And so you have 256, 512, 756, 1024 words of memory. Now let's relate that to modern memory. That's one kilobyte of memory. One megabyte of memory, that's a million bytes, would be a million times this. So this card, you'd have to have a million of these to get one megabyte. Now, modern computers use gigabytes. Currently, laptop computers typically have four, six, or eight gigabytes. Let's go back to just one gigabyte. How many of these cards would it take to make a gigabyte of memory? Well, we know it takes a thousand of them to make a megabit of memory, mega, megabytes of memory. It takes a thousand of those cards it would take a thousand times that to make a gigabyte. It would take one million of these cards to make just a gigabyte of memory. So let's look at a gigabyte of memory. Here's a current gigabyte of memory. One gigabyte of memory. Let's try this again. Let's look at one gigabyte of memory. This is one gigabyte of memory. It'll take one million of those cards. And look at all the connectors at the bottom. And if I turn this over, you see that there's an equal number of connectors, enormous number of connectors. So this little card I'm holding in my hand is a gigabyte, is equivalent to one million of these cards. Now you wonder why I'm using gloves. Well, we don't want to get fingerprints on these cards that are actually kind of rare and valuable. If I could bring this up here a little closer, you can probably see there's a fingerprint right here. Definite fingerprint there and some fingerprints other places. So there's a smidge here as a fingerprint. So we just don't want to get fingerprints all over these cards. Let's take a look at the back side of this card. So there's the back side. Basically is your 50 pins on this side, 50 pins on the reverse side, and that gives you the 100 pin. They call it the MITS bus for a long time, MITS Altair bus, and then eventually it was uh, made into an IEEE standard, and many computers, many manufacturers of microcomputers used that bus, and there were cards that were made uh, using this bus standard, and they were more or less compatible. Sometimes you had to do a little bit to make them work, but then the cards were interchangeable between computers to some extent, not totally everyone being 100% compatible, but most of them were.